Hi everyone! I'm Baby B. Happy Monday. It is December 7th, 2020, so happy Vlogmas Day 7. Um, I just wanted to hop on and show you guys the progress on my Huga and Hearth Infinity Scarf. Uh, this is the pattern that Sam B came up with for Advents this year. And I am just going to pull this up. I am using my Buttersock Jane Austen Advent that we came out with this year. This is the first time that we used Buttersock in an Advent. And I am not going to lie, this might be my favorite. It is so soft. I... I just got this color done last night, which was day six, and I have day seven ready. I'm probably gonna knit day seven in a little bit, probably like within the next hour or so. And yeah, so I'm very happy with it. I love the colors. It is just, I don't, I just love this. The way that it is working up right now is just so pretty, the, the layout of the colors, like, I wasn't there when they picked the order that the advent colors would go in, so it's very much a surprise to me. I also don't really remember many of the colors, even though I worked with them. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised right now, and I'm just, I'm just really enjoying my advent knitting. Um, I am still working on this, which I showed a couple vlogmases ago. Uh, this is my Magic Cake Cowl in our Holly Jolly Christmas colorway. And, uh, yeah, so every day when I knit on my Huga and Hearth scarf, I finish relatively quickly because it's only, like, a couple... It's not a couple of rows. It's, like, 20-something rows. So every time that I finish, I immediately go over to this because I really want to wear this during the holidays right now. Like, I, I really want to be wearing that. So I'm trying to get them done at once. Um, and yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that. So that's my projects, which you guys have already seen, but I figured I would just update you on my Hugan Hearth shawl, uh, not shawl. I keep wanting to say shawl. I, sorry, it's a scarf, it's an infinity scarf. Okay, um, I figured I could also open my day seven with you guys so you can get my real reaction. I'm excited, I don't know what it is. And so far we have had the Emma theme going. I don't know if there's another Emma theme. I'm not super, um, I don't really know much about Emma like that much. I'm gonna start opening this. Uh, I don't really know that much about it. So hopefully it's not like I don't know what it is. Um, okay, it's, it's Mr. Churchill, which, um, sounds familiar. <laughs> I don't remember, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it, Sam will cut me off. Okay, okay, sorry, I know exactly who this is. Alright, if, if you've, if you've read Emma or watched Emma, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult anyone. I just don't remember names that well. Like, I remember Pride and Prejudice, and I remember um, Sense and Sensibility pretty well, but I don't remember Emma too much. I never read Emma. I've read Pride and Prejudice, and I've read part of Sense and Sensibility, but I didn't go get all the way through it. Uh, but yeah, so this is, this is very pretty. I'm gonna try to get it to focus. There we go. I think that's beautiful. I can't wait to see how it looks with the other colors. So yeah, um, that's that. And yeah, I'm gonna knit that in a little bit. I'm gonna knit that in a little bit. And yeah, I'm a little bit scatterbrained today. I don't know why. Uh, I am a little bit nervous because tomorrow I am getting my wisdom teeth removed in the morning on Tuesday. <laughs> so I'm a little bit nervous for that. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys all of that and maybe open my advent with you. But yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. I'm sure Sam B will be coming on and updating you on some other things. And I know that her and Queen B just left to go get grocery pickup so I'm gonna have to go and help unload groceries and all of that fun stuff. So 
yeah i hope you guys are having a great monday or had a great monday uh december 7th and all of that and i'll talk to you guys soon Hi, little girls. Hi, little ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Hi guys, so um, it's December 8th. Uh, I didn't actually, ooh, I don't wanna show like my neighbor's houses or anything. I didn't actually film anything yesterday because I was, um, I had a horrible migraine all day. I don't know exactly what triggered it. I think it might be the weather. Like, I think you guys can see it is very, um, like overcast and sometimes that gives me migraines. I don't know. Um, but baby we've had, had filmed a little bit. So you guys would have already watched that cause I combined these two days, but I'm feeling a lot better thankfully. And I'm going to be doing the chores. Uh, baby B had her wisdom teeth out today. It was luckily like a really, um, quick procedure. It took them like 20 minutes. They didn't even have to put her under or give her laughing gas or anything. They just numbed her and then went for it um but yes i'm wearing my bavarian forest hat today and i'm gonna go do the bunny rabbits 
and I'm gathering some eggs and then I'm gonna be opening Advents and I'm way behind on my scarf um, Advent knit now because I had that migraine and I wasn't able to knit so I like I'm not gonna have it done by Christmas but I'm fine with that because in the past like there was only been a few times I've actually gotten one of my advent knits done <laughs> by Christmas usually it goes until like January or whatever but baby bee's keeping up on hers so we'll have that one done as like a finished a finished Hugo and hearth scarf but technically Christmas goes until January 6th anyway which is epiphany I feel like not a lot of people know that and I feel like I should be walking not a lot of people know that but like um the 12 days of Christmas don't start 12 days before Christmas it starts on Christmas Day that's the first day of Christmas um so yeah well I'm gonna go do bunny rabbits bring you guys along with me and my eyes are watering horribly but that's what the cold does. I don't know. I didn't put on any makeup today. Oh no! I come in and I had already let the chickens out. Do you guys see this? What are you all doing in here? What are you girls doing in here? What? What are you talking to me for? What are you saying? You guys are eating in this, in these oats and such? Let's close the door. It's gonna get a little dark in here. Look at this mess you made. It's okay, it keeps it warmer in here. So I'm not too worried about cleaning all this up. In the summer, we keep everything super clean. But hi, girls. Hi. How are you guys doing? How are you doing today, Amelia? Yeah. Is everybody having a good day? So I'm gonna go do chores and I might bring you guys along for some other things. I'll show you guys the goats today. Everybody's just hanging out. Hey babies, what's up? What are you guys worried about? I'm not doing anything with you. Hey babies. It's nice and cozy in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's chilly outside. It's chilly outside. What are you guys doing out there? <laughs> just looking in. Queen Bee likes to come in here and she'll throw them this mix of straw and that you see on the ground everywhere. They She throws that to them um, because it has oats and stuff. And everybody has gotten very fat. Yes, you're all very fat goats. I like it. So they're wondering if I'm going to feed them some. <laughs> some of your oat mixture, huh? No, I'm not. I'm not fatties. It's all gone. Somebody ate it all. I think it was you. I think it was you. What are your chickens doing? What are your chickens doing? Yeah, what are they doing? They're looking for, for any treats that might be down here. So I gave all the bunnies food, um, we feed them pellets, and we actually just changed their pellets to a different brand um, because it's more readily in stock. And so far they don't like it as much as their old pellets, but hopefully they'll change their mind. Stop banging your head around those coats. Um, but now I'm going to go fill up all their water bottles. Um, I bring them inside to do it because I want to dump out all of the old water and make sure that there isn't like frozen slush or whatever in there. So I carry all their water bottles in, fill them up and carry them back out. But it's good because then I get nice and strong. <laughs> um, but after that, then I will take you guys to go feed the chickens with me and then uh, we'll go open Advent. Hi little kitten! Hi little kitten! 
Little Shaggy. Hi little kittens. Hi little kittens. Oh my god little kittens. Meow meow meows. What are you eating my boot for? <laughs> are you eating my boot? Good kitties. So we got the hens their layer feed and now we are going to go feed the hens. They probably won't be there though because um they've been running around all day and eating. But yep. Oh I got all the bunnies done. So now just doing this. I said hi to the kitty cats in the barn and um yeah and we'll be able to uh, go inside and warm up. I'm getting kind of sniffly because it's so it's so cold outside. And I forgot to say, I'm not going to be collecting eggs right now. I'm going to wait until I close them up later. Um, typically, I gather eggs twice a day. I do it um, once in the morning when we let them out. Um, not always me, whoever's letting them out. Um, once in the morning and then again uh, when we close them up at night. Sometimes we'll do it midday too. And as you noticed in the... Uh, video from this morning when I collected eggs. We have a bunch of fake eggs in there. That's so they don't get upset. <laughs> so they don't really notice that we're taking their eggs away. <laughs>
Hey guys, so I showered, dried my hair, um, and now I'm gonna go close up the chickens and gather the last of the eggs. So you can see it's a little, it's a little dark now. Um, it's getting dark out. Joey or Broby is out doing his chores and also I forgot my egg basket. We used to not have an egg basket, but now we have a little egg basket. And you can see those are my eggs from this morning. We have nine hens. Um, we have little tiny chickens too, but they don't, they don't really lay much, especially now that it's getting to be winter. But I'm gonna go and take my little basket and go get the eggs, which is cute. Queen Bee set this up. I mean, look at them in there. Aren't they cute little eggs? And the, some of the Christmas light timers are starting to turn on. Um, so far just that one. But it's a little bit chilly. I'm not wearing a jacket. I just threw on my boots and uh, just ran out here because I don't want to spend a lot of time out here. Um, I opened my advent, which was um, exciting because I got to open eight advent yarns today. Um, but yeah. Oh, are you not in your house? Get in your house. Get in your house. It's nighttime. You know it's bedtime. Go on. Go on. Get inside. Usually, the girls are inside by now, but they aren't yet, so I guess I'm gonna have to run out here again. Um, <sighs> but we got four eggs today. Four little eggs. So not everybody is doing their job, but that's fine because it's winter. Usually hens don't lay as much in the winter. And also, I don't exactly need nine eggs every day. I mean, we are a family of five, but we don't exactly need five whole eggs every day. And yeah, they're still running about. They don't even want to go in their, in their house. Oh, but I have somebody waiting for me in the, in my house. Do you want to see? And the other lights turned on. And who do we have in there? <laughs> it's Peach. What a cutie. She likes to stand up there on that chair and wait for me. Hi, Peach. I'm coming inside now. <laughs> Anyways, it will be fully dark by the time I have to go and close up the hens once it's really dark. Um, so this will be my last check-in for today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.